Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another great day here at Jimra. With me is me, Fong, your favorite. I know you like me. All right, today I'm going to show you how to do a set of workouts with a barbell, and it's going to be overall, overall, overall body. Okay? So as always, please warm up with me. The first 30 seconds we're going to do is called shadow boxing. So basically, anything will bounce around a little bit, just move anywhere, anything. Okay? Just imagine you're boxing yourself. And I just want you to move a little bit and give me a little movement so the legs, the shoulders, the abs, the obliques, everything, okay? Just move with me. Anything. Have fun with it. Bam, boom, and a knockout. Nice. All right, next one, little half jumping jacks. Now, as you do this, you can go to the side, other side, front, back, whatever it is you like. Just warm it up. Get, get the heart rate up. Nice and easy. A little higher up on the arms if you want. A little lower. To the side. Whatever it is you like to do. Just warm it up a little bit for me. All right. Next one, because we're gonna do a lot of squatting and lunging. Let's go with an opposite one. Two three because I'm gonna need those hip flexors relax and loosen I need the glutes I need the quads everything so we're keeping it on one leg right just a few more so I'm doing a little bit of a twist as well all right let's switch okay so knee elbow lightly touch breathe out so just give me a few more Give me a little touch. Don't jam the elbow into it. And good. All right. So remember, give me a squat. Reach up high. Down low, round off that lower back. Reach up high too. This is your warm up, okay? It's getting your mind, body, all connected into one. So when you move, the body is already engage and there's no chance or very little chance of you cramping up good breathe out nice and deep last one all right all right now remember the barbells you grab it could be just a stick it doesn't have to be anything heavy but you want it to be challenging a little bit right i want you to hold on to that on one shoulder here and we're going to start up what's called a good morning i want you to stand nice and tall perfect posture Bend down as low as you can. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings and glutes. <sighs> Breathe out on the way up. That was one. All the way. Two. Now as you do this, I see people try to look up. Please don't. You're straining your neck. Watch. As you're doing it, if I look up, what's wrong with my neck? Right? You want to look, keep your neck neutral. So you should be looking straight down right there. All right, five. So remember, keep your back curved. Stretch out the hamstrings. Six. And hold on to the weight tight. Seven. Last three. Nice and steady. Last two. Last one. It's a great way to work on your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. All right. Next one, we have 15 reps. Keep the bar behind your head. And basically, you're gonna give me a squat, and as you come up, press, okay? So that's one, two, three. Notice as I'm going up and down, I'm not bending forward this way, right? Four, I'm just doing a nice squat, give me my perfect posture, and then pressing it all the way up and down. When do I breathe out? On my way up. That's when all the muscles are contracting. Nice and easy. Perfect posture. So the weight's not too heavy that I'm struggling on the press. You can squat so much more than you press, but if you can't press it up over your head, then the weight is too heavy, okay? Give me two more. One. Two. All right. 
Next one, we're gonna hold it to the front. In between each one, you want about 10 seconds rest. This one is right on the arms here. As you can see how it's held, not too high up to the shoulders. I wanna squat, and as I come up, one. Steady, two, three. Now again, notice, four. I'm not bending forward, right? Five, perfect posture always. Six, seven, eight, breathe out, nine, 10. We'll go 14 total or seven each side. Last one. Woo All right, give yourself about, about 10 seconds rest. Next, we're gonna do the three lunges. You're gonna hold onto the middle of the bar, right on your side, or you can hold it up here, okay? Let's hold it up here, it's better. All right, that's about 10 seconds. We're gonna go forward, side, back. That's one. We're gonna go five counts of that, okay? Forward strike, heel toe, down, up, side, back. That's one. So steady, you don't go too far forward. Side into a squat, reverse lunge, two. Keep your posture perfect. Ooh. Three. Four. Now wherever you're at, if you can lightly touch your knee down, five. That would be the best way because it's giving you full range. And again, forward. If you go too fast, you're gonna lose stability. Please don't do that. That's one. Nice and steady. I'm able to control my move two, so that I'm lightly tapping that knee on the ground. Three, don't hit it too hard, please. And you breathe out on the way up. Four, last one. Nice and steady. And five. Wow, quads are burning. Again, about 10 seconds rest, recover. For those of you who drink water, drink just a little bit. If you drink too much, body's gonna cramp up. All right, if you don't need it, let's go. Give me an ISO squat, sumo squat, and curl. Three, 15 reps in this one, you got it. Four, five, I'm using my thighs. Six, that's like a leverage bench, like a preacher curl. Full range always, all the way down, all the way up. Do not hit yourself with the bar, please. So as we're burning out the legs, we're working on the biceps. Bam, bam. Let's go two more. One, last one, burn it. Oh, my legs, my legs. Quad should be crying, it's good. Give yourself about 10 seconds. Shake it off a little bit. Catch your breath. Now remember, the more you do it, the less rest you're gonna need. So as you are ready to go, please go. And maybe if you're ready too soon, maybe you should have picked a heavier weight, okay? All right, I'm good to go. So hold on to the inside. If you have a straight bar, just make sure it's parallel. We're gonna do the next 10, one row with two twists, okay? So it'll be like this. Bend down, but keep your back curved this way. Do not round it. You're gonna row, hold it, twist, twist. That's one. Up, let's go the opposite. Two. So while we're holding onto the weight, we're hitting all the bicep, the rear delts, the rhomboids, and then of course your obliques. Now firing up. Breathe out, row, 
twist, twist, row, twist, 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 twist. Last one, twist, twist. Oh my God. All right, guys, that was great. The last couple of sets we're gonna do here, we're gonna need the mat. So give yourself about 10, 15 seconds rest, get a little water, get the mat down if you need to. If not, lie on the carpet, it's up to you. All right, so again, everything's gonna be on the mat now. All right, come join me, grab the same weight. If it's too light, of course, change it up. If it's too heavy, change it up. All right, first one we're gonna do, it's gonna do a, a pelvic thrust, hold it. We're gonna go into an overhead and to a chest press. So, right here. Push it up and hold and squeeze that butt. You're gonna go behind, lightly touch the ground above your head. Up, close grip, press. One. Two. Three. Remember, try to get the elbows down to the ground here. Press, four. Five, of course, you're hitting on your triceps here. You're hitting your glutes. Six. Seven, each and every movement, it's a separate movement. Eight. Nine, once in a while, keep check, push your butt up higher, because I know it's stacked down like mine. 10. 11. 12. The butt should be burning. 13, your arms should be burning, shoulders burning. 14. And 15. Good one. All right. Give yourself about 10 seconds rest. Woo! That is schwitzen, schwitzen, schwitzen. All right, next one. We do an overhead pull only. Again, hold the butt up so you're working a lot of muscle groups at the same time. As you do a pelvic thrust, you can also do it off of your heels so that you're working on your shin muscles right here because your anterior tibialis or your peroneal, okay? Keep your arms semi-straight, all the way behind, and reach. One, keep the butt up high. Two, this is working on your lats. Three, your serratus anterior. Four, some people call it serratus anterior, that's fine. Five, the more you bend at the elbows and extend. Six, the more you hit your triceps. We did that already. Seven. Eight. Nine. And up. Good. Now, we worked the butt pretty well by holding it up. Next one, let's keep it on there. We're gonna have one leg up. We're gonna do one leg, single leg pelvic thrust, the bridging. All right, so keep your neck still. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Try your best to keep your legs straight up in the air. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. You should feel the hamstrings kind of burning. Remember, this is easier, this is harder. Flat foot down is easier, toes up is a little bit harder. Push it up strong. Breathe on the way up. Three, four, five. Look at this leg that's in the air. Six, don't let it fall down. Seven, eight, nine, and up. Ugh. Ten. Oh. All right, so we have two more to go. Give yourself a low breather. Give your butt a low breather. Next one, we're gonna hold it up again. And this time we're gonna do what's called a skull crusher, French curl, nose bleeder, or arm extension, inverted. All right. So down again, give me a bridge, uphold, and pull it down to about your ear level here, and then come straight up. Do not hit your head with the bar, please. Two, three, four. I always know where the bar is, five. You can put your thumbs in this way, so when you go down, it lightly touches your forehead, six. Seven, eight, keep the butt up high. Breathe out on the way up. 10, 
Last five. One, good. Two, keep your arms tense, abs tight. Three, four, last one. Boo yeah, five. Oh, good Lord. I got sweat in my eyes and everything. All right. Next one we're gonna do here, I want for you to give me a plank, which is on your hands. If you're on your elbows, it's called a prone. It's just the difference between the two when you do that bridge, okay? And we're just gonna alternate leg lift. Try to keep your body in that straight line. We're gonna go 15 each lift, okay? So, nice and steady here. Just like that. Nice and easy. Focus on your butt. But if you go up too high this way, that just means your core is getting a little tired. Fight it. Body should be in a straight line. Shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists, not behind, not in front too much. It's like you're marching in one place. You're a soldier. Sweat's dripping off of me. Focus on that butt. Keep those arms tense. Two more each side. One more each side. And done. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Oh my goodness. Well done. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Now as always, please cool down with me, okay? So several things we can do. Work a lot on the shoulders already, right? So. Give me a pull, whether on top or at the bottom, and just pull it across with a light twist. And control, and slow down your breathing. Switch. You can tense straight up. You can do a little side. Let's go again. Control your breathing. Good, now with the legs. Give me a pull. Give me a pull, one. Pull it up high. Get your butt stretch out, two. Hamstring stretch, three. Pop it up, four, five. And then of course a lot of core, so push your hip first, reach across. Oh. Take a nice deep breath, but even right now, keep your abs tense. Just imagine somebody coming out of nowhere, hit you, run, you got. Keep the abs tight, keep it tense. Very nice, push again, reach and relax. Good, you should be able to calm down your breathing right away. Of course, the more you do it, the faster it calms down. All right, let's get the quad stretch out, okay? Pull back, stretch, one. Opposite hand up to help out, two, three, four, five, breathe, six, seven, you doing all right? Eight, nine, 10. All right, now the lower back as well. Last one, just round down, come up again. You did that earlier, one, we'll go five reps only. Round down, stretch out that back. Ah, two, open up the lats. Three. Four. And five. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Come back again, I'm gonna have a lot more going on. Myself, others, come back again. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, and we'll be able to modify anything to fit your needs. Thank you again, have a great day, and we'll see you soon. When you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to Show All, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the Show All button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, 
click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full-length routines, click on the Video Streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the Menu tab on the right-hand side of the screen to access the About page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. Are you tired of looking for the perfect workout to fit your needs? And do you wish that you can just design your own sometimes? Well, now, thanks to Jimra, you can do just that. Click on the link in the description of this video below, and you'll be able to create your very own workout from over 6,000 exercises in every fitness level and including almost any kind of equipment that you can think of. This allows you to create a routine that fits your personal fitness goals. The Create Your Own Workout tool is only available on your computer for now, but you can save it on your computer and watch it on your phone later. 